Hello and welcome to The Daily Decrypt. I'm your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by B&C Exchange. What is going on in Bitcoin? If you've sent a Bitcoin transaction recently, you may have noticed that your wallet suggested multiple fee types. Or if it didn't, you may have realized that your transaction took longer than 10 minutes to confirm. This is because the majority of nodes and miners in Bitcoin currently choose to cap the number of transactions they're willing to process at a time. In data size, that cap is currently 1 megabyte per 10 minutes. Bitcoin Improvement Proposal 101, or BIP 101, is a software patch that would increase this 1 megabyte cap to 8 megabytes. The software used for both mining Bitcoin and hosting full copies of its ledger is called a reference client. And a small but steadily growing number of players in Bitcoin have switched to the reference clients Bitcoin XT or Bitcoin Unlimited. The Bitcoin XT client supports an eightfold increase to an eight megabyte cap, while the Bitcoin Unlimited client supports any block size and lets users set their own cap if they wish. In other words, both clients are compatible with BIP 101's 8 megabytes, while Bitcoin Unlimited is compatible with any block size. BIP 101 will take effect if and when 750 blocks out of 1,000 are mined which support it, which would take about a week. At that point, any nodes and miners not accepting the larger blocks would be on their own chain. This is called a fork. Forks have happened in Bitcoin before, and those on the chain with less support generally migrate to the chain with more support within a day or two. The short migration is usually unattractive, as there's generally a temporary drop in node count, and casual Bitcoin users flood forums wondering if there's something they need to do to upgrade. Whether or not this happens again in Bitcoin remains to be seen. If you are a node or a miner who is interested in running Bitcoin XT or Bitcoin Unlimited, there are instructional guides posted in the description below. If you're a casual Bitcoin user, as always, your vote is cast by which cryptocurrency or cryptocurrencies you choose to keep your wealth in. If you have additional questions or insightful comments, do leave them in the comment section so that we can all assist one another in making better decisions. Today's episode has been sponsored by BNC Exchange, which upon launch will eliminate single points of failure. Funds traded there will be held in multi-signature addresses, and Arbiter's keys will be kept on the BNC blockchain. Learn more at bcexchange.org. We're independent members of the LTB network. We have a podcast there for you if you like, and today's magic word is evolution. Have a great day.